Hello my loves, good morning, welcome to a weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday and I'm actually going to London today. Um, it's a super exciting event. Hannah, fabulous Hannah, my pal, has invited me as her plus one and it's a Pretty Little Thing event. You guys know I love Pretty Little Thing. Weirdly enough, last week's vlog included a huge Pretty Little Thing haul, so it's kind of worked out nicely and when Hannah asked me, I jumped at the chance. So I'm just heading down to London for the day. Well, not even the day, the afternoon. It's currently quarter past two. Um, and I get the 11 p.m. train home, I think. So, yeah, just a quick little visit. I thought I'd show you my outfit. Literally the first clip of the vlog, and my camera died. That's a great start, isn't it? But, yeah, I'm wearing this pretty little thing, silk shirt. I've never worn a silk shirt, and I'm not quite sure how to wear it. Like, a lot of the women I saw on Instagram have it quite low, but then when I sit down, I'm going to flash people, so maybe I'll just, like, unfasten it when I stand up, because you can legit see my bra. Maybe they tape themselves to the the top I don't know but I'm wearing just like denim dark denim wash jeans these are just from misguided they're the vice high-waisted jeans I swear by these I'll link them in the description and then I have these sandals which are from I don't know where are these from um I don't know but they're very old so I'll find similar ones for you um yeah so just black little cubed heels jeans white blouse and I've just killed my hair as usual put a little bit of lip gloss on and then I've stolen my mum's black that bag I'm wearing that bag instead of my Mickey bag <laughs> um, and yeah I think that's me sorted I hope I don't get too warm on the train though because this material makes me really sweaty um, but yeah so that's me um, luckily it's only a five minute tube ride from King's Cross to where the event is happening so that's good um, and then obviously I just need to get back later but yeah I'm all set hello so I am now in London you might notice I am wearing something completely different I had made a mistake with my outfit choice as soon as I got on the tube I was just a sweaty mess so we're actually um, near Box Park and I walked past a little boutique shop so I bought this um, and it's actually really nice and it fits really well and I feel a lot better so that's the outfit change but anyway the most important thing we are here for food I'm with Hannah now Hi! Hey! And she has all oh, well we slash she has ordered calamari because I could tell Hannah wanted to get some so I was like I'll try it I've never tried this before but look at these ones they are actual baby squids oh, that's quite sad isn't it? yeah it's like it's Lego. oh try it Oh, now it won't come off. <laughs> right, shall I do a taste test? I don't know why I've never had calamari, and I, I'm not sure I want to know exactly what it is, but we'll just go with it. Let's try. Hmm. You like it? Oh, it's spicy. Look at this, looks incredible, smells amazing. I've already like tried to <laughs> eat it, I got too excited. The only reason I remember to vlog it is because Hannah is actually good at vlogging. <laughs> but yeah, let's devour this. Mm. Okay, we've arrived at the event. We took some pictures. We're gonna take some here though, because the light's better. Yeah, it looks so cute. Yeah, it looks so cute. I'm excited to go up and see what it looks like. We're only like halfway up yet, it's on like a roof terrace. And there's packs outside, all very exciting. whilst crossing the road don't do this at home we have now come out of the event for a little thing that cocktail was so nice i can't remember what i vlogged but we got a beautiful cocktail i drank it very quickly <laughs> so thank you pretty little thing and e online they were collaborating for the event um, and it was in such a cool venue oh green well, it's on green it's on green we're not gonna die it's okay God, the, the, the so road. I'm yeah. rubbish at crossing the road. Like, I'm so rubbish at you. <laughs> <laughs> the roads in London scare me so much. But we are headed to meet some friends at tonight, Josephine. And if you watched the Summer in the City vlog, you might remember. It's basically this photo um, of me, Becca, and Hannah. Ooh, I like your, outside there. I like your preoccupied <laughs> skills there. This photo, you know you're going to provide. I'm going to edit that in. <laughs> I am going to provide. Although I do stuff like this, and then editing Alice thinks, "Why did I say that? I've just given myself more work." Or you forget to put it in. Or I forget to put I it in. Do that. We'll see. Well, when Han watches my vlog on Monday, she can tell me off if I forgot it. But <laughs> yeah, we're going to go there now. 
have a cheeky little cocktail. My train's not until like 10, so we've got just under an hour and a half, pretty much. So yeah, just enough time for a couple of cocktails, I reckon. Just enough time, maybe Buzzing. three, four. Maybe three, four. <laughs> we could fit that in. Make the most of it, why not? Back in King's Cross now. Got very sidetracked in that club. Tonight, Josephine, is that what it's called? The drinks were so good. And then I had to rush off to get my train because my train was at, is at 10. I've made it with 10 minutes to spare. Having regrets about my shoes though. Honestly, this outfit choice has just been a bit of a fail the whole day. My shoes are rubbing. I changed my entire outfit. But it's been a really good night and we got to meet some of Hannah's like pals, so. Yeah, it turned out to be really nice, but I think this is my my coach. Well, I don't know, there's people right behind me. Hello team, how are you doing? So it is Wednesday today and I am so tired today. Yesterday was really, really nice seeing Hannah and then going out for cocktails afterwards. Uh, I had a bit of a mare with my whole outfit situation, didn't I? Like, full on bought a new outfit. Although it was a hit because two girls in the restaurant's toilet told me how nice it was. Um, so that like really bucked up my confidence because it wasn't an outfit I probably would have chosen to wear, to wear. I was melting so I was like I'm buying it I've just got to buy it but my heels oh my god I was like oh it's just an afternoon in London like I'll be able to wear my heels it's not going to be for that long forgetting that pretty much every time you go to London you end up walking so far and you kind of don't really realize probably because most of it is underground and I did 8,500 steps yesterday in heels i've worn those shoes before and i actually did wear them in london before i don't remember them hurting that bad like honestly it killed my feet but i was also determined not to take them off and walk barefoot because i just don't want to do that and it's london like the floors like, can you imagine how gross the floors are ew um so yeah i i soldiered through but i now have blisters on the heels of both feet the size of like 50p pieces like a 50 pence and i can't walk so <laughs> sacrifice is made for the outfit um won't be wearing those shoes for a long time ever again i'll just be wearing them for short walking distances but yeah i i literally can't put my feet on the floor like my heels i have to walk around in my tiptoes and like the top of some of my toes are numb as well the struggles the struggles why do we do this to ourselves i don't know but yeah showered i've just got ready we're actually going to see my niece she has her like prom today from secondary school um which is mad because i can't believe she's 16. so yeah we're gonna go and see her in her prom dress and wave her off before she goes i think she's going in like a ferrari or something which is so cool i wish i went to prom in a ferrari i got the typical like limo thing rather than a ferrari hello my loves it is the day after i literally it could be the same day just with my makeup off because i've got the same outfit on but eh, well it is thursday i've spent the whole day doing work i've managed to get three videos filmed for my design channel so it's just like short little tutorials so if you're into graphic design and want to know the ins and outs of designing stuff that channel's for that so it's just like one minute two minute three minute videos showing you how to do various bits so i've done three of those today very happy about that i've also started creating some gifts on um, procreate i'm gonna take my ipad downstairs now and probably draw some while i'm watching love island because i actually really enjoyed doing it i'm gonna see if i can go about uploading them to instagram because i don't know if you guys follow poppy days but she puts gifts on every so often i'm not planning on doing it as often as her um because i'm a one-man band but i thought it'd be really cool to have some like alice's army gifts like just cute things because there's a lot of times when i want to put a gif on a photo and it's not something i like so i thought i'd make them myself so one of the videos for my design channel is actually how to make the gifts so if you're interested in that go over there but as of right now it is about 9 p.m <laughs> isn't it mad that it's still daylight at 9 p.m like literally look the sky's really clear it's lovely weather well i mean clear as england gets let's be real i asked you guys on twitter what vegan ice cream you like and this was one of the main ones Ben and Jerry's was also a big option, but my mum bought me Ben and Jerry's with banana in, didn't you, mummy? I don't think I've liked banana flavoured anything since birth. <laughs> it's 
So Dad, there's some banana ice cream in the fridge for you, freezer. You like bananas? Why don't you like banana ice cream? Banana flavoured anything doesn't taste right. Yeah. But I'm gonna try the uh, chocolate brownie one because apparently that's amazing. I'm gonna have to go buy that. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. It's super sweet as well, so I don't have as big a portion as I would with like normal ice cream. But yeah, it actually tastes so good. You would not taste the difference. So if you're thinking of swapping to like vegan dairy free ice cream whatever definitely recommend this and i'm a sucker for just asda own vanilla ice cream i don't like anything fancy and this is perfect <laughs> good morning my loves so today is friday and i am home alone so i just had a bit of a slow start to be honest i am gonna do my hair i obviously haven't done my makeup yet i'll do that as well but I get quite a lot of questions now about how I do my hair because I'm actually doing it for once. I've realised that because I bleached my hair, my natural curls just don't want to have any of it anymore. So I've started to curl it. I only curl it like once every four or five days. So to be honest, with the amount of damage that the bleach did, I don't think curling my hair that very, that little is going to make much of a difference. So it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Basically, I'm going to dry my hair with my GHD hair dryer. Um, I love this. I've never really owned a hair dryer because I obviously didn't ever do my hair. Um, but GHD sent me this like three years ago and I don't really know why they chose me, but I am eternally grateful because I do love it. It's so powerful and it stops my hair going frizzy. And as you can see, it's already going frizzy. Like this is it drying naturally and it's not even a good time. I am going to put on this stuff. It's the Garnier Ultimate Blends Sleek Perfector Oil for dry and frizzy hair. Perfectly describes mine. And it's a heat protectant as well. It helps protect against up to 230 degrees Celsius heat. And you can use it in between washes. You can use it when your hair's wet. You can use it when your hair's dry. So yeah, if my hair's ever like frizzy and a bit gross, I usually put a bit of this on. Generally, I do like to just let my hair naturally dry um, and then just curl it from there. But because I washed my hair this morning rather than last night, obviously it's wet. So I need to get it dry because I'm filming today. And then I use this, which is all tangled up. Hang on. This is the Mark Hill hair wand it's called the pick and mix styler or pick and mix wand i will find it and link it down below for you and these adjustment things these all change i've got oil on my fingers now so i can't get it off but i use this one and it's like the medium barrel actually let me show you the other ones not gonna lie though this box of um hair tool things um looks a little bit um sexual let's say so this is one of the <laughs> tools oh god they look so weird and they have the little stand thing so when it's clipped on you can like rest it without it burning the table i have a tiny one so that's for like corkscrew curls don't they just look so weird i can't i can't unsee it then this one is like the biggest one this is the medium one which is on it you can see the difference between how fat they are to be honest i don't think i've used this one I don't know i've definitely not used this one <laughs> this is like a funky shaped one so they are <laughs> they are my very strange hair tools but i absolutely love it and again they sent me this a while ago and it's the best thing i've ever had so thank you mark hill again i'll link it in the description i'll try and find all the barrels and stuff i'm gonna dry my hair and then when i get to curling it i will show you again but i think i'm gonna listen to the uh podcast my dad wrote a porno if you've listened to it you will know but it's hilarious and i only thought it had one series like one season turns out rocky the author wrote more than one so if you're into like listening to podcasts something funny and light-hearted that doesn't involve concentration which is exactly what i need my dad wrote a porno is the one for you right i'm gonna do this now and i'll get back to you when i'm about to curl my hair i officially look like first year hermione granger <laughs> i found this in my box of weird looking almost sex toys that aren't sex toys it's like the moroccan oil blow dry wow that focus i love having a camera that works basically it's a moroccan oil blow dry concentrate and it's a very 
tiny little sample for coarse and unruly hair. Not quite sure what it was supposed to do because they still look like Hermione but this always happens so I wasn't, I wasn't really um, expecting miracles at this point. My hair is just gonna be like this. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I did just blow dry it like this. Like I wasn't using the brush or anything. If I use the brush, it pretty much straightens it for me. Basically, I'm gonna take chunks about this thick. I have really thick hair, so I can't really take too much. Otherwise, it doesn't really kill very well. And I want these curls to last. Like, to be honest, they last like three or four days. They just slowly drop out, but it still looks all right. And I want them done for tomorrow because I'm going to Lincoln and I'm filming a brand video, which we'll see very soon. So yeah, I like to do it the night before and then sleep on them. So yeah, I just take that chunk and the first piece, the piece closest to my face, I always curl away from my face and then basically I just alternate it as I get further back and then the next piece again a similar chunk and I'll curl it this time towards my face so you'll see that I'm like wrapping it towards my face and that is pretty much what I do all the way I'll show you when I get to the top of my head because I do that bit a little bit different <laughs> vlog the end of me curling my hair because Bill my boss who's no longer my boss rang me but basically I just continue changing directions all the way up to the top and then once I've done the top bits I'll pin them so they curl back the right way um, and obviously curl them away from my face and then I just brush through it like literally brush out all the curls and that's me sorted it always looks really weird um, because there's no volume on the top of my head but I'm gonna just pin it up because I'm filming a video and I'm gonna sleep on it tonight so yeah right got my makeup on now listen to I think I'm on season two episode chapter like five I think of um my dad wrote a porno and it's so funny I actually love it <laughs> I've just filmed the video it's a how to deal with clients video don't know if I mentioned that earlier ow my hair stuck to my earring ow i haven't left myself much time to do it i didn't realize how slowly i'd got ready this morning it's now five past three as i was filming i was thinking i'm kind of hungry why am i hungry and it's 3 p.m usually i do eat my dinner at about half two three ish my lunch so that's why but i honestly thought it was about 12 <laughs> one so yeah i need to get this video done i very much dawdled this morning and i want this video to go up tonight so i'm gonna try and get this edited it's literally a sat down chatty one so hopefully it won't take too long but if you did see it hopefully you found it helpful because one of you guys actually asked for it uh, in the comments of one of my vlogs so hopefully it has answered some of your questions oh my god as well i am going abroad is this gonna balance i am balancing you on top of my water bottle this is probably not gonna end well i am going abroad with a brand in two weeks it's not a press trip it's not like a cool trip with your pals and go and explore it's literally a work trip i'm not sure how much i'm allowed to say about it but they're flying me to a place to speak at a conference basically if and when i find out if i'm allowed to tell you i will but yeah it's just reminded me because my passport is on my desk my mum has put it on my desk for me so I don't forget it because my mum and dad are actually on holiday so uh, it's gonna be weird I am traveling abroad and my parents aren't gonna be in the country either which scares me I've got my house to myself for two weeks so yeah a bit of a practice for living alone I guess but yeah and my boyfriend's coming this weekend he's here for like a long weekend uh and then i've got like my friends coming around so i'm pretty much always gonna have someone with me in the house i'm very nervous about this job i just can't believe i am gonna don't go and do it i really hope i can tell you guys about it because it's so exciting and it was something i couldn't say no to like i would have been stupid if i said no so yeah what the fuck <laughs> so exciting uh, also i'm very much aware that i need to try and keep my parents plants alive because it's the annual thorpe barbecue in two weeks for like kind of my birthday kind of not and last year i killed their plants when they went on holiday this year 
the barbecue is after their holiday so if i kill their plants my mum is not going to be a very happy lady so i need to make sure i keep the plants alive and we have cctv that like points out all angles of our house so uh i can't get away with not doing it because you can look log in to the cctv via your phone and check so if i like sit and sunbathe in the garden my dad will be like why are you not doing work um and if the plants start to die i'm pretty sure the cameras are that good quality they could probably tell so <laughs> please remind me to water the plants because last year i just forgot i genuinely forgot and then like there's hanging baskets at the front they'd got that dry by the time i remembered to actually water them i tipped the water into the basket and it just fell back on me because it just ran off it didn't soak into the soil i killed them so yeah don't know why i told you that but that's that's that and i'm also in charge of cooking dinner tonight for me and the boyfriend um and all weekend and for the next two weeks so hopefully i'll be, be able to make some nice nice little meals feel like i'm back at uni again but it's less messy and less stressful and i don't get free money handed to me anymore which is quite sad um right talking absolute nonsense and pretty much procrastinating getting this video up am i gonna get it up for 6 p.m probably not am i gonna try anyway yes i am <laughs> it is now 4 p.m and i am most certainly hungry i think i have leftover food from yesterday's dinner we had spag bowl yesterday i'm gonna put this on a plate and then put it in the microwave could warm it up on the hob but can't be bothered so i'm not gonna are you ready are you ready for spag ball yes i am oh yeah are you ready i was voluntarily doing that without the camera on so i thought i'd recreate are you ready are you ready for love yes i am oh yeah <laughs> i have lost my mind <gasps> yes mm. have i put too much cheese on it probably do i care not at all me and my boyfriend have made naan bread pizzas if you've never had one it's amazing the most simple but yummy thing ever i think they're ready oh yeah one second <whistles> boop boop ready oh they look so good oh i love it when my camera focuses there we go we're going to lincoln today you ready i'm ready Woo. we'll have a bit of karaoke in the car you can be DJ, no pressure, but pick some good songs. I went walking with my mama one day When she warned me what people say Live your life until love is found Or love's gonna get you down <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. How are you feeling? I feel like I need some bee lines and like some rope to climb up this. Oh, yeah, it's so steep up here. If you know, you know. There's some aptly placed benches there though. Not seen you for a while. I know they haven't talked about it. Hello. Then. Good morning. It is Sunday. Here it's Sunday, isn't it? Yes, it definitely Sunday. We've got grandma here. Hello. For everybody. summary. <laughs> Have you missed grandma? Um we are at the Townfield Gala in Doncaster. It's a bit of a long walk though, isn't it? They've changed the parking, so we parked where they asked us to. Now we've got a bit of a like a mile walk, but easy, easy a mile. Or, yeah. or two for little grandma's little legs. Yeah, two miles for grandma, and we're not even exaggerating. It's a long, it's a long walk. But grandma's bought a chair. She's she's prepared. Um, and then we're gonna, yeah, get a few swigs of brandy, and you'll feel fine. And go to sleep when we get in car. Um, but yeah, oh, it looks it looks bigger this year. Maybe it's just because we're walking in from this angle. I have never ever been this way. Before. No, I didn't know this field went all the way down here. It is huge. It's massive, isn't it? I knew it was a big field, but I didn't. I honestly didn't know it went all the way back there. Like we're parked all the way down there. I got no idea. So um, yeah, we we've got. Grandma's got a lucky necklace on, and we're gonna. Yes, we're going to be winning. Yeah, we're doing winning the raffle today, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we want to win some raffle prizes because once upon a time, Grandma actually won a TV at yeah. <laughs> this gala. So ever since then, we've been betting on Grandma to win something else really good. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. We got ice cream. Grandma's got an ice cream. <laughs> Woo. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> This is a dairy milk ice cream. I didn't even know these existed. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Comment down below your favourite ice cream. I really like that dairy milk one, you know, but I do love a classic 
vanilla ice cream with like a chocolate flaked over it like a oh nice little chocolate bar you know um but yeah let me know your favorite ice cream combo thank you so much for watching the vlog um subscribe if you aren't already apparently now you need to press the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you actually get my videos thank you youtube for being a pain in the butt but do that if you want to see my videos and i'll see you soon for another vlog <laughs>